Richard Roberson. I'm a substitute teacher for the Buffalo Public Schools District, and, and I am the head coach for the JV football team here at Burgard High School. The reason I uh, decided I wanted to be a coach is because that um, I've enjoyed the sports for so long and the impact that I had from my coaches. I wanted to pass that down to this generation that is under me so they could pass it down to a generation that's coming after them. And the coaches that I, I had, I wanted to install that into the game because I believe the love for the game is going away. And that this is my way of being a con contributor to the sport for football. So that is my reason for coaching and I just love the sport so much and I do believe the knowledge that I have is could be useful and resourceful for a lot of the kids in this generation. The good thing about Burgard is the kids gravitate to you very fast. That is something that I've learned as a substitute teacher. I have the pleasure of going to different schools and learning and getting to meet different kids. But here at Burger, these kids are very unique. And when I mean that, I mean that in a very good way. They're very honest, very protective. And it's a community here. It's a, uni it's a unified front. And that doesn't just start with the student. It has also start with the head as the principal, Mr. Johnson. Um, he's a very advocate for the students and the students appreciate that. And I've grown to love the kids and I've been here since September but I feel like I've been here for forever. And I love the kids, and I don't just say that because of the interview, I tell the truth, nothing but the truth. The kids here are very honest and they'll give you an opinion. And, and as a teacher and as a coach, I believe sometimes you have to listen to the kids because they'll tell you what's right from wrong and they can show you their perspective and, then, and their perspective will help navigate and circle and give you a good perspective for how to go about different things, situation, and even coach them and help them get to a place where you can, uh, and they can hear from you impactfully and actually understand what you're saying. Very good. Coaching a football team has been one of the best things I've ever experienced because it has taught me a lot of patience. I believe that you can learn from the kids as well and this job has taught me patience, 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 and patience, and flexibility because everything is just not going to go in order, it's not going to go um, like you want it to go. Kids aren't going to always listen. Uh, kids aren't always going to do what you want them to do. Sometimes kids forget what their priority is and it also gives me a little grace because when I was a kid, I my focus wasn't always on football. So helping them navigate and also showing that they have to be responsible and it's not just about football. What I've learned is it's about maturing young men to be positive and good at additions to the community and to the world after life, after football. I think the biggest, the best story I've had so far has actually been here. We, I obviously, we're having a rough season here at Burger, but what, what encouraged me was is, is that the kids told me that it, it feels good to have a co coaching staff that cares and not just care about winning, but care about the team enough that they'll come every day, they'll show up every day. And I always told, I always tell them, I'll show up for you as long as you show up for yourself. I don't come to get paid. I don't come because it's a work. I love coming here to coach because I love the kids, I love the sport. And most importantly, I love the bonding we have built between the team. And it's been a rough season. <laughs> it's been a very rough season. But what makes it easy and makes it good to show up is that the kids love being there. They love practice, they love the games, and they love being on a bus, they love the bus rides. And that's a story that I have so far here. I could find a million stories to tell you, but the story that really it had, was the impact was even though we've been not having the best season, the kids are appreciative of the good that's going coming out of the season. Hope for next season is that we have a better season, of course, but that we build the standard here at Burgard football, for Burgard football, that the bar be raised higher than what it was this year, that we exceed expectations for next year. That's the goal, it's not about me, it's not about nobody else, but helping raise the bar and raise the standard and surpass the expectations for Burgard football, that this will be a place to come, not just for football, not just for soccer, not just for anything, but also to learn an academic and be more than just an athlete, but be a student athlete, be a student athlete in the classroom and a student athlete on the field that you're learning your work and learning your sport so you can so you can be great at everything you do. So my hopes is that we get more kids, um, that we get more people excited about what's coming back. 
the advice I would give a new coach for the, that's coming into the school district is be intentional. And what I mean by be intentional, show up for the kids, meet it with your heart. Don't do it out of obligation, do it because you want to be there. You want it. The kids know if you want to be there. The kids know your heart. They can tell by your actions. And just because you're showing up does not mean you really want to be there. So being intentional means being there, being present, having fun joking with them, showing up on the on the bad day, showing up when they get in trouble, showing up by chastising them, showing up and chastising them in a good way, not because they aggravated you, because you want them to be better. I've learned through life that sometimes the best advice is criticism. Sometimes the best advice is correct, be, being corrected so I can be better and correct for the better, not for the benefit of yourself. But correct them so they can be a better them so when they go to the next level, it's beneficial. That advice you gave them at eighth grade, seventh grade, or ninth grade, or twelfth grade is beneficial for the rest of the life that they can use it in their, with their families, at work, on their jobs, in college, whatever next. But let, ensure that anything, any life lessons you give them for that game can also be beneficial to them for life after the sport.